Welcome to Cloud Constructive Knitting. Hi there. In this episode, I would like to show you how to make a buttonhole using crochet cast on method. I like using this method because the cast off edge is literally identical to the cast on edge, which makes the buttonhole look quite neat. Another thing about this kind of buttonhole is that it's quite strong so that um, it's resistant to stretching. If you're not familiar with the crochet cast off method, then there is a video tutorial, so please refer to episodes 2 on crochet provisional cast on. Okay, so here's how you do it. I've, um, I've knitted up to a position where I'm going to make a buttonhole on the next four stitches. First thing you do is to bring the yarn in front as if to purl. Then slip the first stitch on the left to the right needle. Then bring the yarn back to the original position and then slip the second stitch on the left needle onto the right. Then slip the first stitch that you've slipped onto the right over to the second stitch and this is the first stitch casted off. And then re you repeat the same process. So slip and then pass the slipped stitch over. So second stitch casted off. Then the third stitch and the last fourth stitch. The working stitch is um, still tucked at the wrong side of the work. So after you cast it off all the stitches, slip the, the stitch on the right back onto the left like this, and then turn the work. On the wrong side of the work, bring the yarn back Then using a crochet hook, insert the hook in between the first and the second stitches on the left needle, like this. Then draw a loop towards you. Then make a chain stitch. This chain stitch doesn't actually count. It basically um, keeps the yarn at the right position to do the crochet cast on. So bring the hook in front of the needle and make a chain stitch. And this is the first stitch that you've made. Bring the yarn back and then the second chain stitch. Bring the yarn back again. Third and then the fourth stitch. Now you can see the little chain stitch that doesn't count and then you made four stitches. After making the last chain stitch, you don't bring the working yarn back but instead put the loop onto the, um, onto the needle. So it looks like you've made five stitches here. Then turn the work around onto the right side and the first thing you do is to slip the first stitch on the left onto the right and then pass this fifth stitch, um, the last loop, over to this stitch. At this point, slightly tighten this loop but then try not to tighten it too much and then slip this stitch back onto the left needle. And now you can see that you've casted off four stitches and then casted on four stitches. Now you can continue knitting as usual. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy knitting!